This place is a dirty, dusty dump. And uh, it's a food production facility that you eat out of. I can smell the dead. It's, it smells like a morgue in here and a sewer. Oh, I'm gonna spew up. If this doesn't anger you, you don't have a heart. We are in another enriched cage barn here in the UK. Uh, it is a factory, not a barn. These places are just big, giant prisons filled with suffering animals. You can feel the energy in here, it's tense. The birds are restless. They're just being exploited in cages for their eggs and uh, really horrible place to be in. It stinks really bad like feces in here. Let's walk through and see what we find. Look how many eggs they're producing here. Look how many are crammed in one cage. They've got about an A4 sheet of paper, about that big. That's how much space they have. And they're in here constantly. And they keep going up here too. You can see their little faces peeking down. That's another level above me. Two stories. Insane. And uh, below them, Feces, feces. They're living just inches above their own feces. When you walk through a barn and the animals get worried, something's been happening to them from the farmer. They either get dragged out, some are getting culled, abused. So many individuals in here, so many different personalities. Look how many eggs are down the bottom of this railing, like all the way down. These birds are producing, 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 producing. Chickens only naturally lay about 10 to 12, 10 to 15 eggs a year, but they've been selectively bred, modified, fed like a, a very rich diet to induce egg laying. So now they're laying up to 300 eggs a year, put an enormous strain on their bodies. They lose calcium. They get egg bound, so built up, you know, eggs in their stomach, really bad. And uh, after about 18 months, they go to get gas chambered and potentially could be eating one of these birds. Uh, second grade cuts of chicken, uh, they'll use these birds for suffered, exploited hens, exploited for their eggs, exploited for their bodies, treated like resources in these cruel cages enriched cages they've got the uh, environmental enrichment which is a little post for them to to stand on it's a joke when you think about it if it wasn't so cruel it'd be a sick joke that that's what they call environmental enrichment I think it's about 38 40 percent of the eggs people eat in the UK come out of enriched cage facilities like this and uh, that's not to promote free range because I've seen free range barns and they're just the same except in a big barn where they claim to have access to the outdoors but they never get out access. And all those hens get gassed as well and executed. What you'll see here is, is female, they're hens. The males don't lay eggs and where do they go? When their eggs are incubated, the chicks hatch and they're sexed. So the males go on one side of the conveyor belt, the females will go on the other. The males will be dropped into a big macerator, a big blender, blended up alive. Very horrible way to treat infant chicks. And these hens, the other, the female chicks will make up, you know, either in rich cages or free range barns. As you can see their their beaks have been cut, trimmed down so they don't bite each other in confinement, cannibalize each other. 
It's incredibly sad, this. It's incredibly disgusting indictment on humankind here. You know, a dead hen decomposing in a cage with other hens. They have to live around the body of a dead hen. You know, the more we walk, we'll find more. This is common. This is common. This isn't just a out there occurrence. We're in a enriched cage facility. We're walking and this hen has suffered to death in prison because people want these eggs. You want to eat an omelette. And she had to go through that. And you, you just know she suffered a horrible death. In pain, no one cared. They walked past her while she was dying and just overlooked her. She's been cannibalized right now. She has feces all over her, look. This is the victim of your omelette, basically. This beautiful hen suffered to death in this disgusting, filthy, disease-ridden cage without one ounce of empathy. Who cared about her in her final days of suffering? No one. She lay in there in pain and died without one ounce of compassion. I'm holding this dead bird up to show to those who consume eggs that this is the victim of your choices right here. All of these hens will be gassed to death so you can enjoy what comes out of their bodies. All of these hens will suffer in prison and their little bodies will push out eggs until they become not profitable to the industry and they'll go to a gas chamber. There is a bit of sweetness to this story because this bird died sooner than the rest and doesn't have to endure any more suffering. But I can only imagine the agony this bird went through before her death, the slow, painful death. I want you to think of this bird's face next time you go buy eggs. Think of her face and the suffering that she went through so you can have egg on your toast. Such an injustice. Human beings should be ashamed. This is an abomination. And people wonder why I'm an angry activist. If this doesn't anger you, you don't have a heart. It's disgusting. This place stinks of death and of feces. And human beings eat out of places like this. I wish everyone who ate eggs had to smell this facility. This is where they lay, in here. Do you see? Come here. See, she's got an egg underneath her. She's just laid that egg. When hens lay an egg, it comes out their cloaca, which is the same hole that their urine comes out of, their feces comes out of, other fluids come out of. It baffles me that I used to believe that what comes out of there is food. Just, uh, I was, conditioned and tricked to think that that's actually food. It's the furthest thing from food. It should not be eaten. Food grows. It doesn't come out of a hen's backside. I can smell the dead. It's, it smells like a morgue in here and a sewer. And these poor babies have to live through it constantly. It is a massive torture facility for sentient beings. The thing is, if these were dogs in here, there'd be a protest out the front. But because they're birds, people view them differently. They suffer the same. Once you get to understand these birds, you really don't see them any different to a dog or cat. They are beautiful, intelligent beings who deserve a lot more respect than this, that's for sure. If you just look into their eyes, you can see someone in there. Okay, so when you talk about environmental enrichment, if you see in the corner over here, there's a little rubber pad. It's about the size of an A4 sheet of paper. And it's a scratching pad. And apparently that's their idea of, uh, you know, ethical treatment of animals is uh, putting a little rubber pad in there for them to scratch. You know, it's covered in feces, of course. Um, there's only like a tiny little square for what looks like 30 chickens in each little cubicle here. Uh, 
It's a sick joke. That's what it is. Every time I walk past, I reckon there's dead up here because I can keep smelling a dead body as we're walking. Like every, every so often it's got this pungent decomposing smell of a dead body. You know, the most disgusting part of all this is, in my opinion, apart from the horrible, torturous hellhole this is, is that someone who is watching this could be dining on the dead body of one of these suffered hens. It just makes me feel very sick to my stomach. They're eating the body of someone they've never met and they have no idea how they live. It's just got their egg size, um, mortality, weekly mortality here. Uh, 38 at age 50, 15 weeks. We've got 12 at age 16 weeks. And what are they, what are they now? These are uh, 43 weeks old. They go for about, usually about 18 months. All right, we're gonna go upstairs. There's two stories here. And there's multiple sheds here on this facility. We're only in one shed. Uh, it would take us all night to go through all, all of the sheds. There's just, there's hundreds of thousands of birds on this property. It's overwhelming. So this is uh, the machine that they're using here. Egg-esque elevator conveyor belt. This whole building is like a big machine. They treat the animals like part of that machine, except the, the animals are not machines. So they force them to lay the eggs. The eggs come down this conveyor belt. It's all automated. Like, this place is filthy, dude. If a kitchen was this filthy, the health inspectors would shut it down. It would be a breach. But egg facilities are allowed to be covered in feces, dead animals in cages, scum, black scum, broken eggs, feathers, dirt. This place is a dirty, dusty dump. And uh, it's a food production facility that you eat out of. And there's so much secrecy around these places, you're not even allowed inside here. We're not even allowed inside here. We had to make our own way inside of here. But you're not allowed inside of here to see what's going on in here. Don't you want to know? Don't you want to know what's going on in this facility that you're eating out of? Don't you have a right to know where your food is coming from? They don't want you to know. They don't want you to know how much suffering and feces and dead birds and crap there is in this room. They don't want you to know. Because then you're gonna stop buying their product and supporting their industry, aren't you? If you essentially boycott this industry, enough of you smart people out there boycott this industry, they can't exploit the animals anymore. They can't sell you disgusting, filthy eggs out of this horrible dump. Okay, so use this, boycott them. Look, at, well, look what they're feeding you, crap. We're actually on the second level. But as you can see, it's not really two levels. That bottom level is two stories high. And this here is a little bit over a roof height. So this is a huge facility. They look more crammed, maybe they're older. Straight away you can smell the pungent odor of a dead body. It's really, it's quite, quite a particular smell. It's very strong and disgusting. We can actually see the top cages from this boardwalk and uh, there's just decomposing bodies of birds there like that bird has been rotting in there for weeks and weeks and weeks there's just bones left and carcass I mean these dead bodies carry disease and maggots and they're just in there rotting with the other birds like because you can smell them as you walk past, but you can't really see them, but you know they're there. And then when you get a better vantage point, you can start to see all the dead bodies. The smell from right here is absolutely sickening. There's a dead bird here. I think they're on either that row or that row, but it is unbearable. Oh, I'm gonna spew up. You okay, baby? Are you okay? What's the matter? <laughs> Shh. 
she's uh, been protective of her eggs. This one's got an egg stuck. Did you see that? She had an egg stuck to her chest as well. They're very protective of their eggs. And they all drop down here, they roll down and then get taken. Hens have motherly instinct, they do. They do care about what happens to their chicks. They do care about what happens to their eggs. All animals have an innate maternal instinct, bond with their young, but they never get to see their eggs hatch. Never get to play in the grass, never get to scratch through the grass or dust bathe or do anything that they naturally want to do. They can't even stretch their wings in here without their wings touching this plastic and iron, you know. Such a disgusting, sad existence. Such a sad existence for them. All right, so here we are at the end of another farm visit and it's not a farm, this is just one big machine-like facility built for one reason, to force these animals to produce products for humans, to imprison them and, you know, causes them so much suffering. This is no way for anyone to live. So again, I'm asking anyone out there who has a heart, who feels something about this place, who thinks this is wrong, please just boycott animal products. It's so easy to be vegan these days. There's so many great egg alternatives. Free range eggs are not the answer, okay? They are just as bad in different ways. And we're just asking people to see these animals as conscious, sentient, self-aware beings and respect their rights. That's what a vegan is, respecting the rights of animals, boycotting exploitation and cruelty to animals, eating plants, scrambled tofu vegan egg, okay, anything but what comes out of this filthy, disease-ridden facility. Be vegan.